Secure your oxygen mask first. Hi everyone, I'm Del Edwards and I just want to share something really important with you today. I was really, really, really sad to hear about a young friend of mine who is doing so much good for so many people. Um, but he's not taking care of himself. Now, there was a quote I read that says, compassion for others begins with kindness to yourself. And it made me start to think about about life. You know, I've been up and down in planes a lot over the last few weeks, months, couple months. And every time we get on the plane, the stewardess gets up and they make this announcement that in case of cabin pressure falling, these oxygen masks will be released. And it is very important that you secure your mask first. All right. Now, the reason that that is important is because you cannot help your children, the elderly, anybody beside you that needs help if you are not fully capable, if you're not in your right mind, if you don't have your full supply of oxygen flowing to your brain, you can't help anybody. You'll be disoriented. You'll be unavailable. It's the same thing in life. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't even matter if you are taking care of lots of projects, lots of people. You have a lot of things going on that you're responsible for. Um, it really doesn't matter. The fact is that if you are not able to take care of yourself, you end up shortchanging the people around you. Now, what do I mean by that? People forget to take perspective um, to look at the big picture. You might have one assignment, one project that you're working on right now that feels really important to you and something tragic or devastating happens. Maybe you get sick and you take it upon yourself to work through your sickness to try and make sure that this, uh, this project is taken care of. But Instead, you should have taken the time to take care of yourself. And what happens is you get the project, that one project accomplished, but maybe you find yourself in a position where the next 999 assignments that would have been yours can no longer be attended to by you because you've overworked yourself with this one thing when you needed to take a rest, when you needed to slow down, when you needed to take a break. It's a big picture you've got to look at. If you've got a thousand assignments that are coming your way and you're responsible for a lot of things and you're the kind of person who's great at doing this job, um, you've got to understand that if you drop dead today, someone else will take the job. Someone else will do it. It's not going to go undone. But the people who would have benefited from your particular influence your particular type of impact would all have been shortchanged because you refused to take seriously the task of securing your oxygen mask first. You can't help other people unless you make sure you are in the best position that you can be to help them. The best health that you can be to carry out the work that you're designed and created to do. You can't help people, other people be their best if you do not take care of yourself first. It's really important. You see mothers that are, you know, unable to tend to their kids appropriately because they haven't cared for themselves appropriately. You see people, executives, unable to tend to their companies appropriately because they haven't tended to themselves appropriately. People who are in volunteer efforts or, or positions of service, unable to care for as many people as they potentially could throughout a lifetime because they feel that caring for themselves somehow takes away from caring from, uh, for others. And 
No. Caring for yourself first ensures that you are able to take care of others. Don't get it twisted. Anyway, I don't want this to be too long, so I'm just going to leave on that note. Um, I want you to consider what I've said. If you know somebody that's overworking themselves, uh, go ahead and feel free to share this with them. Maybe they'll hear it from someone else if they won't hear it from you. Um, and if you're the person that's overworking yourself, stop, take a moment, take a big picture moment, a big picture moment and look at what you're doing and how it impacts the people around you. You will be the best um, that you can be for everyone else if you can be the best that you can be for yourself. Until next time.